Hi guys, Yuki here. So you know how I said that we were done with Seduce Me 2? Apparently, we have one more route to go, and that's Diana's, which apparently unlocks once you've um, finished up all the other ones. See the little purple thing right here? I was, I was wondering why there was only five like that, because usually, well, I don't really know much about this thing, but that's what I, anyways, let's just see how this goes. Okay, I was in love with the succubus. It was true. I had fallen in love for the char fallen for the charms of a succubus, and I was about to dive headfirst into the demon world with her to save her kingdom. Do you have any regrets? Uh, none. I smelled as Diana held her held me in her arms and carried us both through the night sky. We shared a sweet kiss, the first of hopefully many in the future, and were about to cast a spell to enter the demon world. Dana looked to the ground and was far below us. That was far below us and pointed her free hand down towards it, closing her eyes. As the last word left her mouth, a large purple pentagram appeared in the grass before twisting and becoming a black void. I gripped onto Diana, scared for what I was seeing. Last chance. I gulped at the sight, not sure what to make of this. Was this really what I wanted to do? My curiosity, however, guided my decision and forced me to take a breath. I closed my eyes and let a calm wash over me before looking up at Diana. Let's go. Diana smiled and wrapped both arms around me, laying a protective hand over my head. Hang on. I tightened my grip on Diana, obeying her command. As I held tight, I felt air quickly begin to rush past our bodies as Diana tilted back and began to let us fall towards the ground. Was she insane? I looked at Diana, seeing her smirk at me before closing her eyes. I did the same, naturally preparing for the impact with the ground. What I felt was a cool rush of energy rushing over my skin, as if I had fallen into water. I slowly opened my eyes and found myself staring into a vast, dark space, holding on to a woman who was no longer wearing clothes. I was clinging to a woman who had no clothing. I already re reiterated, um, but instead had purple marks across her skin and horns adorning her head. However, I could tell that this one was still Diana, just by looking into her eyes. Diana smiled at me and kissed my forehead before tightening her hold on me and muttering softly. I held onto her body as I felt us begin to move through the space, as if a giant fan had pushed us forward. Onward we continued through the darkness, with me unsure of where we were going, and Diana guided the way. We began to slow, and soon a small light appeared, slowly growing as we got closer to it. I had to shut my eyes as it began to consume us. I felt weightless. I couldn't feel anything except the woman in my arms, and it felt somehow exquisite. I wanted to drown in this feeling, become lost in it. However, our journey through the light was coming to an end. The light around us faded away, and soon I found myself lying on Diana as she lay on a stone floor. The air, however, smelt like fire and blood. Oh. I looked up. See? Wait, isn't this... Didn't we see this And Um... I don't... I want to say it was... Sam? This, this was the demon world? A loud shout forced me to look over and see a man running at me with a spear and rage-filled expression. I screamed and rolled off Diana, scooting away to avoid being skewered. As he continued towards me, I screamed. No! I looked up to see Diana kneeling in front of me and gripping the man's spear, pointing it away from her. The woman stared. The man stared wide-eyed at Diana as she glared back. My lady, you live? Of course I do. I told you I would return, and thus I have. The man gave a small sigh in relief, lowering his weapon and propping it up to lean against it. As I examined him now, that he wasn't gunning for me, he was wounded and exhausted, panting heavily and gripping his spear tightly. I'm so glad. And then he passes out. <laughs> As he finally 
toppled over. Diana gasped and rushed over, kneeling beside him. I rushed over as well, wanting to see what was going on. Who was he? Why did he attack me? Why was this room on fire? Sano, what happened? We... We were attacked by the demon lord. He took advantage of your absence. I began to cough violently. We need to get out of this room, wherever we were. Diana, we need to get out of here. Diana nodded and grabbed my hand in Sarah's, chanting under her breath. The room around us began to shift and as, it, as if it were changing instead of us moving. Soon, we were outside a castle, staring at it as flames erupted from each window. Oh, that was her hideout area, or her kingdom. I don't know. What was happening? Diana's face was of pure shock, staring at the castle in absolute terror. All of the color beside for the purple marks on her skin had faded to a pale white in horror. We drove them back, but the flames are too powerful. At that moment, something in Diana's eyes changed. Her anger sparked as she stood, quickly walking around us and towards the castle. Diana! Come! I command thee, White Winds! Crush these fires beneath your hands! I stared at the wind in the air, quickly began to pick up, and a purple glow began to surround Diana's body. It was like a storm was rushing towards us, but there was no rain or thunder. Just wind. The winds forced back the flames that danced in the windows, and smoke began to rise from each one, signaling the death of the fire. The windows continued to be filled with wind and air, most likely to kill the flames deep within the walls. But I thought wind would make the flames worse. I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> I, however, could only stare at Diana. Her body was rigid and her gaze was intensely focused on the stone castle. Soon the winds began to die out and all that was left was smoke rising from the windows into the pur dark purple and black sky. You did it. Uh, how? Diana looked to Sato, intensity still embedded in her eyes. Where are the king and queen? I heard Sarah's breath hitch, and I turned to look at him. He had a look of pure pain and guilt. What had happened? Diana walked over and stared down at him, now almost glaring daggers at him as she clenched her fists at her sides. Speak, Sato! The Imp Demons. While we were fighting the flames in the army, the Imp Demons snuck through our defenses. My heart, despite not fully understanding the situation, began to tighten. Something was incredibly wrong. Sato shut his eyes as a pair of demons, I assumed to be allies, rushed over and began casting magic over his body, closing his wounds. They snuck into their room. Diana suddenly turned and bolted towards the castle, causing me to jump up. Diana! I began to sprint after her, following her inside the castle and trying to keep up with her. Her panicked breath kept me following her direction despite her fast twists and turns through the ashy corridors. No, 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 no. I could hear Diana sobbing, praying as she ran. I did my best to keep up, not wanting to lose her and not wanting her to be alone right now. We turned into a long hallway that had a pair of golden doors at the end. They were unscathed, as if the flames had not disturbed the room, or perhaps the room behind it. Please be alive! Please! Uh, we all know that's not gonna happen. Diana bolted for the doors and began to pull them open, grunting at the weight. I stopped running, skidding forward from the abrupt stop. Whomever she wanted alive, I hoped they were as well. As the doors finally opened, however, the foul stench of blood erupted from behind them, the scent filling my nostrils. <laughs> Diana flung the doors wide open and I could only stare at the sight we both saw. Blood. Blood covered the floors, the walls, the ceiling. The entire room was painted in gore, skin, bone, and massive amounts of blood. Only three things, barely coated in red, stood in the middle of the room on the ground. Oh! Two broken crowns and a small tiara that barely large enough to fit a newborn's head. Oh. Diana slowly walked into the room, the blood on the ground painting her bare feet as she fell to her knees in front of the item, staring down at them. I couldn't bring myself to enter the room with her. 
I watched as she lifted them to her chest, curling her shoulders over herself and shaking almost violently. Father. Mother. Audibel. As she continued to grieve over the ornaments in her hands, a dark, almost deadly, and evil-looking aura surrounded her body. It began to flicker and grow like a dark flame that wanted to engulf the room she knelt in. As it reached an apex and began to violently flicker through the room around her, Diana arced back and screamed to the ceiling, her voice heavily laced with magic, pain, and rage. Is it? That was like five minutes! Ten, eleven minutes! Um, I'm gonna pause this really quick to see if there's actually more. Okay, yeah, that was it. <laughs> wow, that was intense. Um... I guess now that actually does conclude the Zeus Me Too, the Demon War demo, until whenever it comes out sometime next year... ...ish. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video, whatever that might be. Um, bye!